hello friends in this video I will take an example and I will show you how to do it let's see the example first example 3 suppose you have four contact C1 C2 C3 C4 and coil Q1 Q2 Q3 when you modify true any one of the contacts the output first will go on when you modify true to any two switches or any two contacts the output second will go on by modifying true to all of them the contacts the output third only the output third will go on and when you modify true to any two switches the output second the only output second will go on now i will show you the boolean form of the example let's see the first part when any one of the input is on only the coil first will be on as you can see when c1 is on c2 c3 and c4 is off q1 is on on the second one when c2 is on and c1 c3 c4 is off q1 is still on and when i modify the c3 as one and by putting the c1 c2 and c4 as off q1 shall be on and when i modify the last one which is c4 as one by keeping the c1 c2 c3 as zero the q1 or the coil first will be on now let's get started with the ladder diagram as you can see on the left side i have created four contact Type boolean and three coils. I also made two power rails, one on the left side and one on the right side. Now I will start with the contacts first. I will add four contacts. Now, as you can see, I created four contacts normally open contact. C1, C2, C3, and C4. As the question, part first of the question says that when any of the contacts is true, the coil first will go through. Now, now I will add a coil here on the right side, which is Q1. Then I will adjust the block size. And as you can see, I have four contacts and one coil. Now, I will join the pins here. I join the pins on the left side with the power rail and on the right side with the coil Q1 and the coil pin with the right hand side of the power rail. Now, I will start the simulation here. The simulation is complete now i will click on the deeper glasses after that i will show you the coil first and the contact c1 c2 c3 and c4 now as the question says which is the first part of the question when i modify the c1 to true as c1 c2 c3 and c4 are in parallel you know the r gate so when i modify any one of the contact true the coil first will go true let me show you here when i modify c3 to true the coil first will go through or when i modify c2 it will go true now here's the problem with this letter diagram let me show you when i modify two of the contacts to true the q1 is still true which contradicts our second part of the question which says that when two of the contacts are true the coil q2 should go true not q1 q1 should go false now we have to edit the letter diagram here let me stop the simulation first now, I have to edit the 
contacts in such a way that when I modify two of the contacts to true, the coil Q1 should go false or modify three of the contacts or four of the contacts to true, the Q1 should go false. Now, you can pause here for a moment and think about the question here and I created the ladder diagram here for the first part of our question. I put it the C2, C3 and C4 normally close contacts in series with the C1. I did the same with C2, C1, C3 and C4 and so on and so forth. Now we'll start the simulation here. And after I will click on the debug glasses and I will show you oh there they are the Q1 is false as the contacts are false now when I modify any of the contact that's modified the C3 to true the Q1 will go true and if I modify two of the contacts to true, the Q1 should go false, but the Q2 will go true. I will make the delay diagram for that later on. So if I modify three of them to true, the Q1 should be false. And if I modify all of them to true, the Q1 is still false, which was the main motto of our question. Now I'll start the simulation here and I will show you the second part of our question in Boolean form. As you can see, when C1 and C2 is true, the Q2 will go true. When C1 and C3, C1 and C4, C2 and C3, C2 and C4, C3 and C4 is true, the Q2 will go true, only Q2. The Q1 will go false and Q3 also false. Now let's start with the letter diagram here. Now, as you can see, I already made a letter diagram and I C1 and C2 is in series, C1 and C3 is in series, but C1 and C2, C1 and C3 are in parallel, which is the second part of our question which says that when two any two of the contacts is true the coil second q2 should go on and i will start the simulation now The simulation is complete. I will debug. Then after, I will show you the letter diagram. There you go. As now, I will show you the second coil, which is false. Now, when I modify two contacts which is C1 and C2 to true the coil Q2 should go true and when I modify C1 and C3 to true the coil Q2 will go true or when I modify C3 and C4 to true the coil Q2 will go true 
In short, if you modify any two of the contacts to true, the coil Q2 will go through. But what will happen if I modify three contacts, which is C2, C3 and C4. If three of them are true, the coil Q2 should go false, but it's true, which means that our ladder diagram is still lying something. Now you may pause here for a moment and think about it and come back to the video. Now I will stop the zoom lesson here and I will edit the ladder diagram. Now I did add some contacts here, which is normally closed contacts. C1 and C2 is normally open contact, while C3 and C4 is normally closed. The second rail, which is C1, C3, normally open contact, and C2, C4 is normally closed. As you go along down, you will see that two of them are normally open contact and two is normally closed contact. Now, I will start the simulation here. Now, I'll click on the debug glasses. And I'll drag this it up. Then I'll show you the ladder diagram. Now I will start modifying the C1 and C3. Now, when I modify any two contacts to true, the Q2 should go true. Now, if I modify three of them to true, the Q2 will go false, which was the point here. Now, if I modify four of them to true, let's see what will happen, which is like all of them to true. Now, I modified all of them to true. Q1 is false and Q2 is also false. Now, you could join the pins to the rail directly or you could join them at the one pin. Let me show you how and I will start, I will show you the simulation again here. Now, if you join the contacts like this with the power rail, it should not affect the programming here. Now, let me start the simulation and I will show you. Now, I will start clicking on the glasses again and I'll show you the ladder diagram. Now, as you can see, if I modify to any contacts to true, the coil Q2 will go true and if I modify three of them to true, the coil Q2 will go false. Which means that if you join them at the same pin or different pins, it will not matter. Now I'll stop the simulation and we will head on to the last part of the question which was when I modify all of the contacts to true, the coil Q3 will go true. Now I will add the contacts here. Start with the C1 and I will modify its size then after I will copy and paste three of them here one that's two and three now I will add a coil on the right side Q3 and I will press OK Now, I will join the pins with the power rail 
and pins with the contacts and between the contact and coil. Now I will edit the second coil as C2, the third coil as C3, the last coil as C4. And now I will start the simulation. The simulation is complete and I will click on the glasses. Now let me drag this up and clear this out. Then after that, I will show you the contacts and coils in sequence. Now the first coil, second coil and the third coil. Now let's start modifying any one of the contact here. When I modify any one of the contact to true, the coil first will go true, which was the first part of our question. When I modify two of them to true, the second coil will go true while the first one will go false. And when I modify three contacts to true, the second coil will go false. The first coil was false and the third coil will be also false. Now, when I modify all of them to true, the third coil, which is Q3, will go true. Now you could do the question by yourself. There were actually four part of the question, but I thought that I would give you homework a part of the question, which is when any three of the contacts is true, the coil Q4 will go true. I will repeat the question again when any three contacts will go through the coil q4 will go through and q1 q2 q3 will go false now this ends our video here thank you for watching the video